Okay, so this is set up to demonstrate that um, carbon dioxide is released when we use um, yeast and sugar together. So in the conical flask at the bottom here, I've got a solution of sugar and I've put some yeast in it as well. And you can see there's a bung in it with a delivery tube and this is going into some lime water here. Now it'll take a little while to get going, um, but I've put some warm water in there and we'll come back and revisit it a bit later when I hope that the yeast will have been feeding off that sugar and will be... Um, well, first of all, aerobically res respiring in order to produce CO2 and water. And eventually, um, as the oxygen gets used up in this flask, it will start anaerobically respiring and it will produce ethanol and CO2. But so really what we're looking for is evidence that CO2 is coming off and that's why the lime water is there. So we'll come back a bit later when it's had a chance to work for a while um, and see if our lime water's gone cloudy. OK, so this is the experiment that we set up earlier with the yeast and sugar solution. And you can see that it's bubbling away really nicely there. There's a layer of foam all over the top of the um, yeast and sugar solution. And there are little bubbles coming out of the end of the tube. And you can see the lime water's gone cloudy. So hopefully you're convinced that it's genuinely producing CO2 as that process is going on.